Hi, my name is Erin Liudso. I'm an occupational therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy at our Cary office. Today we're going to talk about hand dominance, when you should see it established, and reasons why your child may not show a consistent hand dominance. Hand dominance refers to a person's consistent choice of one hand rather than the other to complete a skilled task. It develops naturally through play, and hand preference begins to emerge between the ages of two to four, and a more consistent hand dominance is established by the ages of five to six. In some cases, hand dominance can develop as late as eight or nine years old. Someone who does not have a strongly specialized left or right hand may struggle to carry out fine motor tasks such as coloring, drawing, writing, and cutting. They may also have difficulties with activities that require using both hands together and crossing over midline. Two areas that could impact the development of hand dominance include hand strength and crossing over midline. If a child has weak hands, they fatigue faster during fine motor tasks. When one hand gets tired, they may switch over to the other hand. Some activities you can do at home to help increase your child's hand strength include weight-bearing activities like crawling, animal walks, wheelbarrow walks, yoga poses like downward dog, pushing or pulling activities, or climbing. Some fine motor activities could also include tearing paper, play-doh, finding items in putty or clay, squeezing sponges, using spray bottles, or tongs and tweezers to pick up small items. So if hand dominance is not impacted by the child's hand strength, it could be impacted by their ability to cross over midline. This is the ability to use one hand to work on the opposite side of the body. Someone with an established hand dominance will stick with that hand even when they have to reach across their bodies for something or perform a task on the opposite side of their bodies. A child or someone who is not crossing midline will avoid crossing over and use their left hand when they're working on their left side or their right hand when they're working on their right side. There are many ways to incorporate crossing midline into your child's daily activities. During play, just think about setting up the play to have the items on one side and working on the other side of the body. So if you're building with blocks, having the blocks on one side on the right side and then having them cross over to the left side to start make the tower. You can use ball games, so sitting in a line and passing with two hands the ball over to the next person or sitting back to back and having them turn their whole body to reach it behind them. When you're cleaning up toys, think about positioning the container that the toys go in on one side and the toys or the items or the pieces of the game on the other side so they have to reach across to put them into the container. Other good activities to incorporate to work on hand establishing a hand dominance are activities that require using both hands together with one hand being the still skilled hand and the other hand being the stabilizing hand. So coloring, drawing, and writing, using scissors, lacing or stringing activities, pouring, stirring, or interlocking manipulatives. If you feel your child may have difficulty crossing over midline with hand strength or developing a consistent hand dominance, please reach out to any of our clinics to speak with one of our occupational therapists. Thanks.